Hello everybody, my name is Master Wolf, and it's time to play something new on the channel. We're going to be playing Sid Meier's Civilization V Brave New World. I haven't played this game in quite some time. It's been like about two years, so I'm extremely rusty. In fact, we're going to be even more rusty because I'm going to be playing as a faction that just recently came out. This would be a modern faction known as the Safed Empire. And I think on the Steam page, it's known as the Light in the East, the Safed Empire. Yep, there we go. Light in the East, the Safed Empire modification. So it basically allows you to place the Safed Empire, which was one of the three gunpowder Islamic empires that dominated the world. The other two would be the Ottoman and the Mughal Empire. And we do get a pretty cool bonus when we're at war with another civilization. We get a little bit more production. And when we get friends, uh, when we get some friend requests from people and we accept them, we get a little bit more culture, which is all around pretty darn fabulous. We have a unique building and a unique unit, but I guess we'll look at those when we're at the um, start screen. So let's go ahead and start off on Pangea. And like I said, I am pretty rusty, so we're going to be playing on King. And we're going to be playing in a standard map size. Really, I'm just playing this so that I can gear myself up for Beyond Earth. You know, a little bit of a fun fact about Master Rolfless. Apparently, my mom told me that we're related to the Safed Empire. My great-great-great-great-great-grandfather had about 14 wives and about 30 kids. And he lived in a palace in northern Iran. Is that story true? Probably fucking not one bit at all, but... Uh, does it mean that I'm royalty? It, it does, so that means I'm gonna continue with that lying bullshit for the rest of my life because that makes me feel special. Alright, let's turn on quick combat. I mean, not quick combat, quick movement because I don't want to see my unit's butts all over the place. And that's really about it. Alright, let's start this baby up. Wise and faithful Shah Abbas of the Safavid dynasty of Iran, your people await your wise guidance to prosper once more. During your time as Emperor, you were able to not only fight several successful wars, but also to build vast monuments in what is now today Iran. This legacy lives on in society today, but even at the time of your rule, you were able to do much to help your people. Victories over such mighty and legendary empires as the Ottomans and the Mughals assured your place in history which were accomplished in part by your military reform. Taking back land that was undeniably yours, the stage was already set for you becoming one of Persia's greatest ever leaders, showing great mercy and tolerance. You presided over an era of prosperity and arts, and the empire was undoubtedly in a better state by the time of your passing. Shah Abbas. A leader is needed to give your nation the power it needs. Can you keep your military in check to ensure resounding victories for you and devastating defeats for your enemies? Can you get back the artistic and architectural talent that was once shown on such a scale? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? So, as you can probably tell, this wasn't the vo and this isn't using the voice of the original guy that does the civilization descriptions. It's using one of the modders' voices, or maybe the modders actually hired a voice actor. I do like his voice. I kind of wish that he was a little bit faster, but whatever. That's a okay. Anyway, we get to use our unique unit, which is a replacement for the lancer. It gives us some culture, gold, and fate for every turn we spend in enemy territory. So I guess we should just like camp in other territory to basically farm up tons of gold and culture. That seems pretty good. And we have this little building over here, which replaces the workshop, gives us some carpets. Persian carpets are pretty fucking hype. I wonder, do I have a Persian carpet in my house, or is that just like bootleg? I think it's bootleg, because we let the dog just walk around it. Now, if it was a real carpet, my mom would be like, yo, what the fuck is the dog doing on the carpet? Anyway, so let's see, we got some cotton over here, got some incest over here. In- <laughs> I said incest, god damn it. <laughs> this- we're off to a great start already. Alright, we have some of those things over there, and then we have stone. Yeah, I guess why not? Let's just settle. We have a ton of good production up north, so that's pretty good. Now then, warrior. Let's go down south here, and ooh, more cotton. Nice. Okay, now, again, I am pretty fucking rusty, so I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I guess we should get a scout, because I do remember getting ruins is uh, something that you need to do. It is very important. Now, let's see what to get first. Now, usually, when I was playing on Emperor difficulty, I would get not a shrine first, but probably something like mining or archery first, because, uh, what was it? If you get the shrine first, then you almost will never, ever get out of religion, because uh, all the other AIs have such a massive bonus in faith production. But you know what? We'll try it out, because we're on king, so maybe we'll get away with it. Okay. 
Here's our glorious leader over here. I remember when I visited Iran a couple years ago, I was able to see some of the Safed empires, like, ooh, ruins, awesome. Some of the Safed empires, uh, monuments and stuff, like the, I think it's the 33 arches in Isfahan and some of the grand mosques. It's actually pretty beautiful. I saw the center of the world, which is like a huge mosque complex, and around it is a giant bazaar. Holy moly, it was, it was by far beautiful. Oh, hello there, Ethiopia. Ah, scrub can't get as much gold as us. Ha, ha, ha. Should declare friendship with him so that we could get that culture bonus. Also, on top of this, uh, what ends up happening is we don't really want to fight Ethiopia because they do have that bonus. I mean, uh, the bonus that allows them to defend against empires that are bigger than them. Now, hold on a sec. Do I just want to, like, declare it right now? He is neutral. Maybe I should wait a little bit. Yeah, I'll wait. And then maybe I'll get a guaranteed yes or no. Actually, let's just do it right now. YOLO, what is he gonna do? Get angry at me for saying I'm his friend? Okay, he said no. Whatever. Just uh, float on the other boat. Yeah, the bazaar was massive. I even tried to, what was it, buy a little bracelet so that I can gain the affections of a loved one back in high school. Unfortunately, Master Rolf and the Senpai failed, but that, that's okay. I'm okay being alone. All right, then scout, go to the west, and ooh, we have hills that would block our movement. I do want to continue this way, so let's go ahead and take that penalty. Now, do I want to get a second scout? No, hold on a sec. How long till we get out the calendar that allows me to actually get caught in? About 13 turns. So if we get a worker now, we can get the caught in set up in three turns after or do i want a culture bonus ah damn it decisions decisions shit i remember i used to be good at this okay so monument or worker well i don't need happiness now i, I guess i could just chill about hold on a sec let's see my my stuff huh i could get collective rule really fast that should help out a little bit Give me a seller early on, and then I'll be able to get one worker. Yeah, you know what? Okay, fine. I'll get the, the monument so that I can get liberty early. Don't need happiness yet. Ooh, France. Hello there, France. Napoleon, please don't kill me. Actually, wait. It's not Napoleon I need to fear. It's goddamn Gandhi, if anything. Ooh, there's a lot of elephants. Oh, it's my first city state, finally. All right, so let's get the calendar. And let's see what's on this hill. Nothing. Oh, well, we found Bibelos, which is good. Our time city state. Gives us a little bit of extra food. Let's see if we can find some more city states. I found the Aztecs. Alright, calm yourself. Some whales over there. Oh, crap. Of course we weren't going to found it in time. Oh, shit! I meant to build the shrine, not the monument. Crap. I forgot, the only reason why we tried to go for a granary was because we wanted to get the shrine early on. Well... Can I get it now? Monument is the same cost as the shrine. Nah, let's just abandon the AD, I guess. I can't believe I forgot already, that's dumb. Either way, I wouldn't be able to actually, uh get a religion before the guy that just got out r the ranged combat faith. Because by the time I would have been five turns into the shrine, he would have discovered that faith. He probably got it through uh, one of his civilization abilities, or maybe he got it through a uh, ruin. La France offre cette proposition exceptionnelle. You'll give me one gold for that? How about you give me six? Ha. <laughs> no. Okay. How about five? Four? Three. Okay, two. Fine, whatever, you win. It's only an embassy. In fact, if anything, I should also build an embassy in this guy's land. Oh, right, I don't have writing. I'm illiterate, I forgot. Ah. 
Well, who needs literacy when you have carpets? Ooh, la la. Hello there. And the French are always right next to it. Oh no, it's actually Aztec territory. Oh! You know what? Maybe that's the guy who got the extra 50 Aztecs. No, no, it's not. Yeah, I don't. Actually, let's let's check out the faith thing right now. That should tell me who discovered what. Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Damn heretic. All right, whatever. Now then, let's see. Let's get the shrine. Not really much in the way of ruins in this area. Yeah, we basically scoured this entire land. Nope, I did find a warrior camp, but the only way to kill the warriors here is by going around this entire mountain range. That blows. Yeah, this is not a good place to farm warriors. So teach us to number. Well, I got the calendar, so that's good. All right, now we should probably. Oh right, culture. Piety, honor, or liberty? Probably liberty. That way I can probably get the settler early on. Just basically chill about. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going off of what I knew beforehand, I guess. Going straight for philosophy would be a tad stupid, wouldn't it? I almost never try to get the great library early because usually somebody would discover it a little bit earlier. Or, or build it a lot earlier. Yeah, but then again, maybe it would be nice to get a great library early. Nobody's right next to me, so I can't really justify getting catapults early on. Spearmen. Now, if I was playing as a regular Persia, I would get spearmen right away and stack up on immortals, but that's not going to work out. Let's get writing, then afterwards we'll get animal husbandry, because I would like to get trade route set up. Okay, you get get out of here right now. Will you one-shot this barbarian? No, you, yeah, you will. Okay. So let's end the turn, because I kind of want to get the XP. No, get back. There we go. A kill! Give me your XP. Wonderbar. Oh, awesome. Don't worry, we'll get running in about a sec or two. It's happening. It's happening. Alright, heal you up. Now let's go down south a little bit into this area over here. You never know what goodies are over there. Oh, yes! Awesome! Now we get a little bit of a culture bonus, right? Huh? Did, did we get it? Yeah, we made a public declaration of fr uh, friendship. So shouldn't we get that bonus? Hold on a sec. Let me check it out. It might be a little bit dumb. I am usually pretty dumb. Five percent boost. Okay. So I guess we just make so little culture, we it doesn't really matter. That kind of sucks. Oh well. A oh, barbarian encampment and oh, another sea state. Oh yeah, I'll accept that too. Why not? Whoa. Whoa, I like this. I like this area a whole lot. Look at that. We got Lake Vittoria here, and we have a fuck ton of food. Stonehenge early on. Uh, I'm not really feeling it. If anything, I want to get out a warrior early. Yeah, so that I can maybe kill off these barbarian encampments a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and get that warrior. Oh, Riga, let me kill him. Okay. Oh, 
Alright, good. Set the Republic. Let's move over there. Now, huh, I guess I could divide up this area between two cities. That would work out. There we go. We got writing. Now tell me, how much will it take for a great library? Yikes. It's a long time. But, we can kill this Barbarian Cannon pretty fast. If we just plan our attacks right. Hmm, nothing over there. Just stay on this hill right, right over here. Come to me, friend. Come to me. Golly, only two turns. Ah, but that's okay. We'll be able to maybe get a pie of this faith in game. Not the big uh, faiths have actually been taken. As long as that um, one of the the what was it civilizations don't take the one that enhances our plantations, we should be okay. Just really wanted to get this warrior out there. There we go. Okay, now then, the second warrior out. Scout out the monument and the shrine. I know the AI is gonna try and take one of these wonders. It, it just it just happens all the time. Either they're gonna take the Stone Edge or gonna take the Great Library. Because it always happens to me. And I'm gonna get a settler pretty soon. I definitely can get the worker afterwards pretty darn fast so I won't need to actually get the worker I could probably get the, I should probably get the caravan actually because that would uh, speed up the food production of the second city All right, let's go ahead and get some archers out okay guys charge forward Just want to go ahead and rough up these barbarians a little bit. Ooh. Hello there. How about this? Get drill. Heal up. You move your butt down. And you can move right over there, actually. I forgot about that area. There we go. Finally. Yeah, he won't be able to take the cellar. Good. Get out of here, France. Whoa. Look at the Aztecs over here. How are you getting ahead so far in tech and culture? Wait a minute. That's, this is the AI we're talking about. Come on. Have you forgotten that the AI cheats? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, wow. Look at that. Barbarian encampment just spawned. Just my luck. Like, damn, that is just unlucky. Okay, we can get a victory on this guy. Let's go ahead and charge forward and kill this guy off. Move down south a little bit and should plop up over here, over here. It one works. All right, now with that out of the way, we can try and go for something a little bit bigger in tech. Maybe currency. Or, no, 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 we don't, we don't need currency. That's not gonna help us out. Check it, it's a good. Colossus wouldn't. Terracotta army, eh. Statue of Zeus can work. Yeah, let's try to get the Statue of Zeus, I guess. Again, I'm, uh, again, I'm a little bit wary. Comes to getting tech. All right, let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, I'll be able to get that wonderful lake over there, definitely, and we'll get all these resources. Good amount of hills in the area, right? Um, one. There's one over there I can use and. 
Hmm. I think maybe I can use this one. Hold on. One, two. Yikes. Well, I do have horses here, so I should be able to get a ton of production from them. All right, let's work. Let's do it. You know what? I'm going to also build the shrine, and let's go ahead and take out the barbarians fully. Get all that juicy gold, girl. Crap. This one fade from Tundra Tiles. Damn, that dude's lucky. Yeah, the, the more the, t the turns go by, the more I'm being punished for not getting that shrine earlier. It's all good. Yeah, we're gonna take an, a happiness hit, but that's okay, because once we get out citizenship, we'll get a worker, and then we'll be able to set up some cotton in the area. Oh, well, that's unfortunate, but whatever. Actually, hold on a sec. We can just get an insta happiness increase, right? From the... Oh, 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 we don't actually get a happiness increase from owning this piece of territory. My bad. Oh, let's just... I just want to go ahead and hook up Lake Victoria as soon as we can. Don't let Riga take it. Oh, really? What resources do you have? You have gold. Okay, so let's go ahead and kill the encampment off so that we can be buddy-buddy with Tab Tabriz? No, no, no. Riga. Come on, everybody. Oh, four turns. Is that a Stonehenge? You desire a Stonehenge? Really? Stonehenge? That jumble of rocks? Alright, your funeral. Ooh, a lot of you guys want to take out that one encampment. Don't worry, don't worry, we'll deal with it, we'll deal with it. Let's go ahead and get shock for you. Basically slaughter these dudes. And in one turn, we'll be able to get our faith. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, the bar. Okie dokie now. Let's get the faith that increases our... Well, not the faith, but the pantheon that increases our faith from plantations. Let's see now. Plantations, plantations, plantations. Wine. And that. Nope. Oh, oh wait. It's, just, it's not plantations. Shit. It's culture. I mean, it's not faith. It's culture. Well, let's see now. Let's see what we could get. These use camps. We have we only have two of this resource. I mean, not two of this resource. One of that resource, so it's not gonna work out. We don't have any bananas, citrus, or wheat. Gems are and pearls are almost non-existent here on our side. We just have a lot of room for plantations. That's it. And I wonder, will we even get faith from Desert Tiles? No, we won't. Maybe some over here, but not in Tabarees. Palace provides. God King wouldn't work. Gain faith if you win a battle. Mm -hmm. Plus one culture from pastures. Well, will we have five tiles, so to speak, that use pastures? So only five extra happiness? I mean, not happiness culture. Granted, it might be more than plantations. Actually, no, wait. No, we have the silk over here. God, I'm stuck. I thought it was faith, but no, it's culture. Uh, shrines, no. Faith from iron. One, two, three. No, we can't get that. We can't get that resource, but... Hmm. What's more important? Culture or faith? I would have to say maybe faith, but then again, I'm really bad at this game, so I don't know the answer to this question. 
I think it goes by faith, culture, and then happiness, right? That's like the hierarchy of bonuses. Or is it faith, culture, and then growth? Also, we already get enough bonuses from culture as is, right? We don't need more. But two extra faith, would that actually matter? I think it would. And All right, you guys are going to hate me, but I'm going to go ahead and do the faith thing. Because culture doesn't matter. The, the amount of culture that increases per turn is just crazy. I'm, I'm just going to get faith. Yellow. Right, let's go ahead and bombard this guy and let's kill off these two barbarian units. Okay, and now we can send our caravan to. Oh wait, can we not give out food? Or do we have to wait? What tech allows us to give food to our other cities? Allows the establishment of a different trade route, okay. Hold on a sec, I might have done something really dumb. Or maybe I just didn't read it properly, hold on. Why can't you trade for Tabriz? I, I I did something wrong. Yeah, because I wanted to increase the food growth of Tabriz, but I think I forgot to research a tech for that. Either that, or there's actually a what was it? A population limit. For when you can actually do it. It's also a possibility. Go to help really quick. Game concepts. Uh, trade, trade, trade. There we go. Okay, okay, substrate route. Ah, oh, you need a granary. Okay, so you need to build a building. Okay. I thought you just had to research the tech. My bad. Alright, well, that's okay. We'll just get a granary and we'll just, for the most part, actually trade with France for a little bit, get some more science and some gold. I'll be okay. And now for tech wise, we're gonna end it all off with probably some composite bowmen. I would love to get those. Anyway, I'm gonna end this part off here. Next time we come back, we're gonna kill off these archers and fix our happiness issue via the use of a worker to get some of this cotton set up. Huh? What if I pledge to protect? No, oh, didn't influence them. I'm gonna need a gift of gold, but I really want to save up on my gold right about now. In due time, in due time. I'm sure I'm able to get buddy buddy with them with another quest. Making a good amount of gold, actually. Again, if I'm making some really bad mistakes, it's because I'm fairly new at the game. Anyway, uh, well, new, not new, but I'm fairly, I guess, uh, what I'm trying to say is newbie, actually. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.